So what is biomimicry? Biomimicry is a practice, meaning you get better at it the more you do it, of learning from nature, not learning about nature, in order to emulate it and to invent new products, processes, and systems. Why? Because radically disruptive ideas emerge from simple observation of the, of the living world. They're transformative, surprising, yet somehow obvious. In 2014, Forbes magazine brought out this article on the top five tech trends that can drive a company's success, and they named biomimicry number one. The others were additive manufacturing, software, big data, and the Internet of Things. Now, you all know what those others, number two to five, are, but where does biomimicry fit in? Well, numbers two to five are all, in fact, exponential technologies that are driving the future of business. But I want to point out that every single one of those exponential technologies is, in fact, biomimicry. Just think about it. Robots are mimicking either human capabilities or other species. Drones are only just beginning to get close to matching the agility and the silent flight of things like dragonflies. Neural networks are deliberately copying nature uh, in terms of our human intelligence. And digital platforms and the blockchains are connecting individuals in distributed networks, similarly to how nature does swarm intelligence. Think about what the Internet of Things is. It's very similar to the central nervous system. And smart sensors are hardly comparing to the advanced sensors of not only humans, but other species as well. Then think about data storage. We already know that DNA is super advanced in storing data, can store one billion terabytes in only a few grams of DNA. A few grams of biological media can actually replace a million square foot data center. Not only that, but it'll last for thousands of years and will be stable at ambient temperature. Sustainable energy, nothing new. Nature's been running on sunlight for millions of years. And 3D printing's nothing new. I like to point out that every single one of you was 3D printed, cell by cell, and every single organism outside also the same. And sending digital data around the world so that things can be manufactured locally, that's millions of years old too. But every single one of those technologies that I've just shown you uses toxic chemistry and large amounts of energy to make, whereas nature's technologies are life-friendly and use very low energy to make. No matter what product you are designing, nature is always the best database. There's more in the world to be discovered than there is to be invented. Because nature has four billion years of experience. How many of your R&D departments have four billion years of experience? Nature is also subject to exactly the same challenges, the same context that you guys find yourself in. Nature is subject to constant growth, constant change, and high complexity. This is just the map of a single fish in the ocean. It's food web of a cod. And then you zoom into the body, the complexity at the small scale is extraordinary. So when we learn from the web of life, we need to consider that of the 100% of species that have ever existed on this planet, 99% of them have gone extinct. They're failures, they're fossils. And the only remaining ones are the 1% that have figured out how to survive and thrive within that context, the context of complexity, constant change, and constant growth.